are we all doing? Just a quick video of how to put a Deakin system in uh, recovery mode. Um, most manufacturers, um, well, VRB systems will have some sort of recovery mode. Um, there's some really good videos out there, but if you're not used to working on VRB systems or VRF systems, it might be something you're not aware of and you need to do. So the reason why we want to put uh, into recovery mode um, is because with a system like this, you have a lot of valves, uh, expansion valves and stuff like that, so you can have a refrigerant trapped uh, behind those valves and behind the non-return valves. So on these particular Dakins, these ones, what can happen is the suction accumulator tucked away in there gets trapped effectively behind valves and stuff like that. You could have a situation where you want to take the refrigerant out and you end up with couple of kilos short and you're trying to look for a leak that's not there because it's actual fact the refrigerant is still, still inside. So when do we want to use this mode? Whenever we are taking the gas out, we're pressure testing and whenever we are evacuating the system. It's mainly done on uh, exist existing systems so if you've done a major component change, say a compressor, so you're going to put it in recovery mode to take, uh, to take all the gas out. You know, put your new compressor in, you're going to put it in recovery mode to pressure test it, and then it's going to be in recovery mode for when you evacuate it. The other good time where this is important, mainly for you install guys, if you're on a building site and your electrician has decided to power up one of your units, it's going to close the valves inside that box or inside the unit. So what I would also strongly suggest is speak to your electricians and just say, look, let me know if, I've, if you've powered anything up and I can sort it out there. And what you don't want to do is not know you're trying to natural purge, you're trying to pressure test, and you've got valves closed, um, and you're going to run into problems. You, if you're struggling on site with power, say a site has been decommissioned, or if it's a building site and you don't have three phase, if you can get a single phase connection to L1, then you will be able to put it into recovery mode, basically. So it's quite useful um, if you've not got three phase on site. But the biggest thing, again, for you install guys is speak with your electrician and just let them know that you need to know if, it's, it's, if anything's been powered up. Um, the other thing it's useful for is if you don't want people messing around with controllers and turning things on, if you put it into uh, mode 21, it locks the controllers out and it also stops any compressors from running. So, what you'll need, strongly recommend, is the Dakin app. So this is the Dakin app. So, if you've not downloaded it before, what you'll need to do is you'll need to register and it'll give you a few more options. Uh, so we're on, we've got the VRV system and then we're going to go to field settings and checks and then we're going to ref refrigerant recovery mode. And because it's an old VRV3, we put the switches. So we're going to go on there and it's basically going to run through how to do it. So all you can do is just follow it along and it matches up with the buttons. So first thing we want to do is I'm going to try and do this one handed. So Pop that up there. So, scroll along, hold BS1 down for five, six seconds. So that's going to put you in service mode too. Let's see if the light, so it's very difficult, might be a bit difficult to see. There we go, so it's gone over. So then we're going to go across, set 21 times. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. If you go over too many times, you just press mode and you'll have to restart the process. Uh, you scroll through, so we press return once, and then we're going to scroll through again, and then we're going to press set once. So that's like, putting it onto on. We're going to confirm, that's what we want. Let's scroll again, and then return to activate it and you'll hear all the nice clicking and noises. That's opened it up. So if you need to take it back off recovery mode, you just press mode again. Um, and then you start, start you, you vacuuming out or you pressure testing. Um, it, like I say, main one is, is if, if you're on a site where you think someone's accidentally turned power onto a unit, best thing to do is when you've got a system that has power to everything and you've got transmission cables between everything, then you can power up the system and then you can put it in recovery mode, still with the ports closed, as if you would normally pressure test it, pressure test the system, back the system as you would, and then charge the system, and then you can take it out of recovery mode, and away you go. So, well worth knowing, and also, um, 
if you've not got three phase, you can again you can just put uh, single phase straight onto your L1 and that will power up your board. Right, cheers guys, bye bye.